Hello everyone, welcome back. We're playing episode, I really want to look up this information, episode 3, scenario 7a, Dark Fire, and this is part 2 because we have already played the first half of the so of the scenario. Looks like there's quite a lot of it left though since we now have 175 turns in total. So far it's mostly been keep a linear alive, go through these corridors filled with drones. Down here it looks like We've got some water, so that might be Drone Central. Um, okay, we've got a skirmisher. It's not so terrifying. I'm gonna let it go in the water. Oh, or if it likes, it can come over here and... Uh... Actually, I don't think it's fast enough. Oh, there is a path down there, interesting. Yeah, it is just about fast enough, so I'll put you there. You can go there. You can start scouting the other way. What have we got? We've got a hell a Doom Guard, not even a Hell Guardian. A Doom Guard. These guys are not scary. And we can try and lure it out with someone, I guess. Well, maybe not right now. You come and get some health, and you just keep moving. You could get in range of the Doom Guard. Yeah, you do that. If it wants to fight you, it can. And we've got an a Lumeril Guard here. Level 3 Demon with a Lumeril Star Arcane attack. Okay, gotta watch out for my trolls around you. Okay, and it's a leader, which means... Oh! Which means... We got sentry drones, everyone. Oh, sentry drones, don't you love them. So what I ought to be doing here is eliminating this guy with as little fuss as possible and having everyone else move up here to take up defensive positions, hopefully in these arches. Probably can't quite make it, and plus the Lumeril Guard himself would come and attack me then, so I won't do that. That was a fairly poor showing. You can get a level up if you kill him. Unlikely though. Yeah, okay. So that's experience for Elo. Now, you get out of the way, because you're a bit beaten up now. Now that Alinea has 86 hit points plus regenerate, I don't think much is really going to be troubling her. She can pretty much take on this army single-handedly, I think. This Lumeril Guard looks cool, but I think it's going to be fairly underpowered. 11-2 ranged attack is not fantastic for a level 3 unit, really. You can come in and fight. Because if you do, you will level with one more hit, which would be nice. I do want to keep scouting down here. Maybe I can send my flanker down to scout. There is slightly more pathway. You come up here just in case I need another healer somehow. Actually, you just hop and heal that Zephyr. I'll talk great game about Alinea being unkillable and suddenly she... Alright, fresh from your kill over here, you could come and get a kill over here as well. And there you could kill this guy, or almost kill him. And you, just get one hit please. 
There we go. Perfect. Delinear, then you stay where you are. Get a nice level 2 kill. No, I'm not kidding though when I said she could take out the whole army on her own. Anything else down here? Oh yes, we do have more stuff down here. In fact, we've got a green Knight of Chaos. Are we going to fight on two fronts at once? Yeah, why not? I can take it. I'm near the start of the scenario, if not I can always reload. <laughs> Take out these uh, people who deal arcane damage. <laughs> eh, nice kill. Okay, you are doing well. And you guys stay where you are. And you didn't come out, interestingly. So can I lure you more? You don't want to attack the Zephyr, is that it? You don't like Zephyrs? You want to come and attack a demon warrior instead? Probably not. Maybe he's just pissing his pants. Um, maybe there are other guys back here. There are going to be drones back here. Let's just inch forward. Because I'm not in a hurry down here. just want to see what's going to come. Maybe now we'll get attacked by a drone. If we do, having my least tanky unit on the front is probably not wise, but... None of these units are super tanky. And the Soothsayer is of course less tanky. Another grunt. I've already got two grunts, so I think another Zephyr might be more useful in case we have to fly across chasms. So I'm going to go for Zephyr. Quick and Resilient is a great combination for Zephyrs as well. Now I can see a little bit more ahead of me. Gonna move you up here. shut out of that machine. And now I don't want you or you uh, trolls moving to the front lines, because if you do, you will get zapped by the zappy people. And you still haven't come forward. What are you waiting for? Drone backup? Yeah, yeah, you can even attack him if you like. Be my guest. Do what you like. Just come and find me, bro. Fight me! Punching my shaman. Disrespectful behaviour. Okay, we've got some more Doom Guards back here. You're in, and uh, I'll call you Teddy. 
Okay, you don't get the kill. Again, okay, I'm going to keep you back a bit. You guys are still not fighting me. Okay. Let's just come right down. Okay, there's a skirmisher there. Well, now we can just kill this guy and hopefully fight whatever remains. There's a keep there. That doesn't that doesn't fill me with joy. Once again, it recommends I use the poison attack, but it would be much wiser to use the more powerful cold attack and then get the kill with someone else, like my just about to Amla Zephyr. Beautiful. Okay, now you come there, because I don't want the headhunter getting through. Up here we're done. Oh, you could reach the troll. Actually, it's not much damage. So what's so good about you? You've got a lot of hit points. You've got that going for you, at least. Let's slow you. Or shall we just try and kill you? Probably let's just try and kill you. Well, the slow is so much, it's almost as powerful. Um, if it hits, which in this case it didn't. But my troll can hopefully do some bashing. Very nice. Alright. What do I need to look out for now? Not you, not you really. I think we got this side of things mostly under control. I don't really want you coming in fighting anything. So I'm going to put you behind. But what I least want you don't get decent defense anywhere, and you'll get attacked by the big guys if you go up there. I don't really want you coming and attacking my troll, but I don't think you can kill him, so I'll just tank the damage if I need to, and you can step back. Meanwhile... Ah, little guy... Is very dead. Okay, what's down here? Nothing, it's another impassable area. Okay, here we've got another Zephyr. That's fine. Alright. Here comes this orange Zephyr. How many players are there on this map? It's a completely insane number of. Yep, unfortunately, that one I saw coming. And then you can just zap that guy out of existence. And then I need to send someone for these Doom Guard to fight. Well, I can just put you there. Again, still no hurry. If I've got 100 turns left. I feel like even if this scenario is the biggest scenario in the world, I'm probably not going to be too terrified of running out of time. Okay, let's kill this Zephyr. Um, chill. Chill, man! This guy is accurate. Gotta hand it to him. Yeah, he hits with everything. Okay. Um, I'm gonna kill him with my. Zephyr. Not Zephyr. Soothsayer. Ugh. 
bugger. Okay, there is someone else back here. But they're too slow to reach me, unless there are drones. They might wait a turn and heal up to full before they progress. Yeah, I think you need some TLC downtime. So, Alinea, you go in and fight this guy, or fight this guy off the... What can you reach? Very nice. Who wants that experience? Maybe the, my newly formed Zephyr? Alright, down you go. You can come and grab this house. Looks like this is a dead end. In which case, because you're very... Oh no, you're not that slow actually. But you won't be you won't be useful defeating these guys, so yeah, you just you just go the other way. Yeah, like I say, these guys are just gonna sit tight for one turn. Could try and lure out this guy. Nah. Okay, you folks are pretty powerful, aren't you? There's no point in grabbing... Oh, I, my inclination is to grab these villages, but there's no point. Okay, you grab the house. Or maybe not, maybe you just go here, and then next turn everyone will fly back together. Your quickest way back is through the water, and we can progress. Alright, two crossbowmen here and a turret. They run away, or well, one of them does. None of them are going to come and fight me, not even if I put you on easily hittable terrain. Let's try that. Either of you, you know, come however you like. In fact, everyone, it, is, it looks, it's very misleading. It doesn't look fast to go through the water, but it is. Even for you. There really isn't anything up here, is there? Sad. There is some mould on this stone wall. But I think that's just decorative. You haven't come out to fight yet, so... I guess the mountain must go to Muhammad. Alright, there's more dudes back here. That at least is something. Maybe they will try it now. Cowards. Oh yeah, definitely cowards. Absolute wusses. So can I go up here and just kill the turrets? 24... 40... 
24. Uh, that's what? 88. Plus. 15. Ah, but that won't hit guaranteed. 98 if I use the star. And there's no disadvantage in doing so. So yeah, if my uh, if my maths is good, I should be able to take out this turret. Just need to make sure everyone gets in the right positions. Let's just see if there isn't anything more back here, though. It doesn't look like it. Pretty powerful, though, the turret. Okay, well, you have to go there. And the rest of you can go where you like. You guys are too slow to reach me this turn. Nice work. Alright, you just bash it with your stuff. And you get the experience, and you're coming. So you'll have some backup, and no one can reach. Just worried about you getting shot quite a lot. But you, you know, you can take it. Through the water. Too bad. All right, you go back. You come round here. And you go there. Down you go. Something behind this wall. Guess we'll find out what it is very soon. Nice to have everyone equal speeds for once, though my demon warrior is slightly behind the curve. Yeah, that figures. No other fighting to be done? No. You could get the kill if you're lucky. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. Okay, you guys... Um, um. <laughs> Two zephyrs in one place, how nice, how swell. You want to go there and heal the people who are going to be attacked? You go there. You have to not expose yourself to any danger for a little while. I'm looking forward to you getting your much needed after maximum level because 36 hit points is not much. Here we go. Okay, now you are almost at a level. The uh, ray blade could come and fight you now. Probably will come and fight one of you at least. Again, you hop in there. The linear is almost in. You go there, you come round here. And we're all in one place. Having fought off some units. Oh, 
Well, you just got yourself owned, didn't you? So now what I'm going to do with you is put you here so that you can heal the people who attack the turret. Okay, another ray blade. You can do 38 damage. And now if anything attacks you, you'll level. The linear can do, with this, 36. Just got up to full health, and now I'm gonna let her get damage again. Interestingly, this tur turret doesn't seem to... Oh, it's been stunned, that's why it doesn't block. and have foolish new conhorts, eh? We should have known that Egea and her kind couldn't be trusted. Hopefully you enjoy their company, for we intend to send you all to the abyss together. Not precisely to die. Save your boasting for later. It will not help you win the battle on the surface, and we are well accustomed to it at this point. Where is your master? Our masters are busy with their own inscrutable plans, and the fortress defences are already disposing of your pathetic allies above. But it is not your place to ask questions here. Now? Would you prefer to go down fighting, or surrender, and let us take you to the fire? I'll let you have a guess. Right, lots of enemy units, but um, none of them are terrifying me too much. There is a law keeper here, Malboras, who is relatively scary in terms of the arcane damage he can do. Um, Malgolgolet is not going to be too much of a worry. And um, one thing that's nice about this is we're back in the room that we were in in scenario uh, in the in the scenario where um, Galas meets his fate in the first episode of After the Storm, so everything has come full circle. Now it looks like only three units can reach me this turn, which is good. No healing for you, not this turn, but everyone else is swiftly coming up behind, so it shouldn't really matter, and I can defend a few turns here and then pop out and kill everyone else. Nice. Maybe I'll have to do the popping out sooner than I thought since these guys don't seem to be inclined to come and attack a demoness warrior. The linear very close, very close to a level. You come and sit there. You come and sit there because you will always attract ranged troops if uh, if, if anyone has a death wish. Uh, you get here some health. I'm going to move in with my Saurian and my warrior. The Zephyrs are not so useful in this particular circumstance, so they're going to bring up the rear. Yeah, you shoot my troll. Okay. We've got 70 hit points now. How far can Malgolgolet reach? Quite a long way. This, you can reach a long way, you can reach a long way. You can reach a really long way, and you guys are less good. So, I ought to come out and occupy this square here. See what happens. I'm going to do it with a linear first. Can you also reach around that way? Okay. I could see if you want to come and fight a demon, but the trouble with that is um, you are powerful enough to deal a reasonable amount of damage to demons. Still, uh, 
That was feeble. Oh, drones, drones, drones. Well, someone's going to have to go over there, because those drones are going to come out. Or at least... No, actually, they're not in range. But if I put you there, then... Yeah. Only one of Malgolgolet or the... Malgolgolet and this drone could both come. And that would be fine. But the Rayblade can't reach. Okay, over here... Now, Goldilet could come this way, as could you, as could you. I'm gonna put you there, just in case you feel tempted. Or maybe not you, maybe someone a bit weaker, maybe you. Or a Zephyr, that seems like the best bet. Grithel, the slightly tougher Zephyr. And everyone else, you come here and give some healing to this guy. And you come back. Alright. gonna go for a staff bashing contest with Alinea and Alinea gets the level because he's got a decent level himself. Alright, shielding, thorns, strength. Or vitality, but yeah, why would I take that when I've got strength 5 as an option? Thorns is still an incredibly feeble attack and much worse than both my other range attacks. So I'm gonna go for the arcane resistance. That will be useful when doing boss fights later on. Including right now actually. Hmm, so Mal G. How do you feel? Uh, how do you feel about getting roasted? Not by you, you're not strong enough. By someone specialised for the task. Oh, you're not even that much better. See if you can do it. You can, well done. You are able to reach. You are also pretty much able to reach. So you come here. Oop, there's another drone. Guess it's not surprising that there are drones in here. Alright, someone who can do 8 damage reliably. The fireball would do it. Who's closer to the level? Oh, well, yeah, both about the same. Who needs the level more? You do. <laughs> the fire was right. About you. <laughs> Alright, I can see where I need to go. So I guess what's going to happen now is that drones keep respawning? Maybe? I take it your enemies. But I don't want to rush forward, because there are still plenty of powerful units here. At the moment, I'm only going to lure out this guy, maybe some of these guys. Um, I should go up around here and block them off. Weak. Curse your defensive position. You go up there and heal them. Can anyone scary reach you? No. Good. Get some health. What do you want to do? You're going to come out and fight? You'll fight my Zephyr, won't you? Yeah. Okay, then there's no point rushing. You're there. Or maybe, no. Yeah. 
Okay, these guys are actually coming for me. Interesting. Wow, there's lots- Whoa! Okay. I guess I'm not supposed to fight these guys. I mean, I can also trap them in the corner and have everyone else run forward, but... You go up here. If you do that, you will get... ...out far enough to attract attention from the law keeper. And once I've eliminated you, I'm going to feel less scared about what's in this area. So, hello. Kill. Can. I want my uh, shaman up here. I bet there's a leader back here. I bet that's what it is. Because there's a, there's a village here. Let me look at the status table. Okay, I can see there's a white leader. I've already defeated... Um, well, I've already defeated one leader, but there's still two more unknown leaders out there, both working on the Uriah team. Can I lure you out? Yeah, that seems nice. More drones up north. And then you come... Well, I don't know. You go there. You come behind. It's going to be tedious to chew you weaklings up if, you sit in the, if I sit in the entrance, but maybe you'll run out of gold eventually. I don't want to leave a leader behind me to spam troops up my butt. Okay, the blue troops are coming. Am I going to let these guys out to fight two at a time? I think that would be quicker. There's drones everywhere! I scorn your puny 20 damage. You can't get rounds. You're too slow. Yeah, you just step back. And everyone else come down here. You want to come and fight this drone? It would be annoying if it poisoned you. I'm just going to stand here. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. 
Now I'll try and fight you. An effect is going to be annoying. You forget about that. Is there anyone here who can't be poisoned? Well, you doesn't. It doesn't matter if you get poisoned. So I'll send you back over here to fight these guys. You nope out and come join the main battle. You just. One less imp. Oh. Oh. Um, you'll be drawn out if I place anyone here. Interesting, I can do that next turn put you there, then you'll come out and fight it, but you'll be healed. You stay there and gain 10 health. Okay, now we've got the uh, blue scary lady. maximum for you. You've got 63 health now. That's your second one, I believe. You just whack this. Perfect. And then you guys can go and kill whatever's back there. Now, um, gonna have to risk the Lumeril Guard attacking me at the same time as I take on this Spell Dancer. You're slow. You're not much of a threat. Um, I'd rather not put you in harm's way because you're not super tough in terms of hit points but if Alinea looks like she's in trouble I may need to now, do I need to go left or do I want to go north That was a bit too little too late. You're too slow. Okay, you did not really do a great job there. You can come in and well, you can come in over there. Kill it. Yeah, there we go. There is this turret, but I feel like that's by far the least pressing threat right now. So I'll put you here. Or maybe back one. No point getting you attacked for no reason. You go into the water. You go down there. Alright. Oh, cold's really not very good against Saurians. Who knew? Oh, 
Right, we're going to stop being foolhardy with Alinea at this point, because she is knackered. And there's another drone. could be in a spot to bother. Uh. Is that... Those passages appear to lead somewhere. Currently, I would like to send you over there, but I need everyone on deck for this bit. Because everyone might go for my team and S, who's on 37 hit points. Keep at it. You've been very lucky at just killing everyone. Okay, you get that kill. And you're almost at a level. Doesn't look like there's much back here. There's a... Where should I be going? There's too many directions to go in. Go down here. This looks like it's blocked. That's impassable, and there's a turret there. Okay, well, there's no point fighting that turret. I don't need the experience at this point. Everyone's at maximum level, and I'm only going for Amlas. Uh, I should eventually start worrying about the turn limit, given that more than half of this map's unexplored. And then we've got a Magus. Uh, we've got an Imp. Good, you're near a level. Nice kill for Alinea. How am I going to get rid of you? You can't get killed by the imp, can you? No, you can't. Good. In any case, I could probably block that from happening by sending my Saurian flanker. Alright, now you're not going to be much use.
There's a green leader up there. I want to let the troops come out into the open because otherwise they're going to clog up that tunnel. Alright, there's the leader. It's a big, powerful drone. So I'm going to send you in first. Kill the Matrix Flow. And we've got another drone down there. But I can take these guys out. With what I've got here, I think. You're only a level 2 protector drone. And you're just level 1 drones. So unless you, unless you respawn, we should be good. Oh, and over here, we're in a nice situation. Actually, this spot where I parked myself is the absolutely perfect place to kill enemies from. And a level, an extra three blessed hit points for my Soothsayer. You're going to be too slow to get over there. You're the quick one. So you block here. Oops. Put you on the water. You there. And you just go and explore a little bit, because I would like to know what's up here too. Is this worm just going to float around randomly? a bit worried now about my demon getting poisoned. No, I don't go for that. So, go into the 70% defense terrain. Perfect. Everyone could try and kill my troll now. But, you know, let him try. Maybe not not let you try. That would be annoying if you got the kill. Oh, there is there is a lot of damage that can be done to my troll by these by these three units. Okay, you do go and provide some backup. You won't be there in time. But I think everyone else actually you both go. Everyone else can hold off down here. Like a linear, you can take that flank on your own. And you can stand there. And... It's not great that we've got a skirmisher here. So I just guess we'll just have to let him attack and uh, see what happens. He's running away. Oh, so much for 50% defense. Run away, and I can just about block you with one of these Zephyrs. And meanwhile... Mop up these troops one by one. You come down here as well. Skirmish is still there, can't back up. You're such a beast.
That was pretty good. That was not great. And now, but now at least I've got one of the villages and if you come in, no one can attack you back here. Meanwhile over here, these guys haven't even moved or yeah, they haven't even moved forward, they've actually run away. I'd best have just run in and kill them then. So many enemies! At least each turn, in and of itself, relatively short. Oh, out they come again. Good, no poison. Yes. Level for you, so both of you are on your second after maximum. That was an absolutely shocking performance. Hopefully you can do better. I'm not going to try and wallop you with the... Ah, uh, shoot. Might lose Nymerin. But if I put you next to the leader, then I'll lose the leader for sure. Alright, here... Ah, oh, I was hoping to kill this guy, then I could run up the corridor and defeat the headhunter. Okay, you're on 31 health. If I can hit you with one fireball... Oh, whew, situation averted. You guys head back next turn. White leader being dealt with. Um, what have we got left on the status table? That's the unit list, don't want that. Status table. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think I've now defeated three leaders? I don't know. Um, anyway, all that's left is a green leader who I can now reach. That's right. Now you. Let's see what else there is down here. Trees. And there is a law keeper. Some zombies and a uh, what shall call them? Are we what 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 time of day is it over here? Oh, I can't even see. Saxel Hive. Okay, minus twenty-five to everyone except Lawful, who are happy. Some of this is just indoors, and yeah, okay, these tiles are the hive tiles.
You guys are pretty wounded, but this is Wesnoth, so probably wise to have you make a move sooner rather than later. You get some health because you're, yeah. goes the tree. It's tempting to bring you out, but I don't quite want to risk it because the leader might come out of his little shack and kill you. And you would be vulnerable to that. See if I can deal with you that you with units that aren't for linear. Doesn't look like it. No. I'll use a linear for that. Better that than fail miserably. Once again, could come forward with other units. Disinclined to. Well, if you go there, you'll be in the light, so maybe that's not such a bad spot for you to be in. And you'll 60% defense against everyone else. Okay, there's worms, who cares? Oh, you're only five movement. I didn't notice that. You're actually slower than everyone else, including my other demon warrior. You can get round. So that's a very helpful thing to be able to do. Okay, that's a kill for you. You just run into the middle. Um, I don't really mind about goo and that kind of thing. Well, maybe I should mind. I'll try and kill these trees first. Now, you should all be able to one-shot the trees. Alright, there's turrets, there's another drone. Um... Okay, that does impede your ability to one shot. Turn health left. Can you punch it to death? Yes, you can. Okay, there we go. You guys can only attack Alinea. You can come around and attack the Saurian dude if you want. Here we just got worms. They don't seem to actually have much in the way of ambitions in life. So I'll stick you back there, just in case. You guys are heading up. How? Oh yeah, these guys got leadership. I forget about that. Okay, it's whacking day for a linear. Your magic, so I want you to do magical things. If 
First of all, you kill this zombie. Well, I do really want to get rid of this leader before I do anything else. And that is really very much easier said than done. I feel like I should, I shouldn't do that, I should just clean out these level 1 units for now. Not even a kill, okay. A bit worried now about my soothsayer. Could get whacked by this Verona drone. Hopefully not too hard. Oh, this is a long mission. Now oh, they've got the eyes on the prize. Fortunately, the cavalry have arrived. Get round! Dang it. You can't get the village. Twenty one. The two of you between you could take out that tower that turret thing. Go straight for the leader or kill this guy? I think kill this guy is the right move and the leader will be easy bait next turn. And grab his villagers while I'm at it. Ooh, didn't think you were going to be that flipping eager, mate. Okay, it's going to take a linear while to get back to full health from that. Still, it wasn't a smart move. I guess that's why I didn't predict it, because I'm just smarter than the AI. Yeah, really. Okay, green leader is down. Um, what have we got over here? You can get this village. And there's a turret here with some dudes behind it, but I don't think most of that's going to be any great concern. You park here next to the wounded flanker.
Was this stuff impassable? No, it's not. Okay. Now, you demon warriors both do 40 damage a hit, so you're the best people to take on this turret. Maybe you are. Yeah, you do 52. It's a shame that I can't... Oh, you can go in the void, so next turn I can kill that thing. Good. Let's see if I lure out this minion. Oh, a gate. Ooh, okay. Huge map. You come out too. Maybe you'll be more inclined to fight this troll shaman. Yeah. Who's the daddy? It's only 48 damage. So it's 48 guaranteed damage. And that is only 36 damage. Why am I taking why am I dealing slightly less damage in here? Thirteen. Turret and we got some jail cells. Whoa, okay. Come down here. I guess I'll just stop moving you around and heal quicker if you don't move. Still, you usually when something interesting happens in a scenario, you have to come out and inspect it. What are you going to do? You're going to melee attack this Zephyr, aren't you? Oh no, okay. Would it recommend me to use the melee attack there? Weird. Oh, okay, the fire dude is running away. Is there anything up here, or is it just... Is it... Should I explore? It seems like I'm being lured up in this direction, so... Guess not. Big strong demons taking the front lines. Oh, forgot about you! Ha! Could have been awkward. It's, it annoys me so much when I leave units on the map, these two turrets in particular. Ah, 16 experience apiece. And the villages that I didn't capture. Nothing down here. Can you go around? Yeah! Rubbish. You're the one who does 10 damage a month. Pwned.
Well, you've got 70% defense on this. Oh, this is all castle tiles, that's why. Fancy schmancy. Weak units stay back. Okay. A secret passage. Not particularly ingenious. Although, it might lead to the cave again mentioned. Oh, these two passages where the turrets are, these are the ones that you take when you want to go to um, to the area of the scenario that's in the other missions. So I guess that's why they took me a different way for this. And this is ideally, the idea is it, it all um, joins up over here. That's where the passageway leads. Smart. Okay, so this is the secret passageway. Yeah. Everyone is on full health, proceed a pace. Everyone who's got regenerate, proceed a pace. Everyone else, perform a little healing party. At the back. Can't believe I've managed to keep everyone alive so far. What's further up here? Oh, that's impassable again. Okay. This scenario sure knows how to railroad you. Good, go straight through there. Stand in the wall. Okay, we've got uh, an abomination! Oh no! How good are you against impact? Very bad. Alright, someone else can go first. Oh no. And despite my words, Alinea is gradually gaining health back. I guess I could have explored these chasm areas to see if they had anything juicy for my for my flying units. You wanna come and fight me? Come and fight me! Minus 10 against impact, looks like. Oh, you're weak to impact too, it's easy to forget that. use of space this turn, I'll do better next time. The linear should be able to fairly effortlessly deal with this guy. Wait, there's someone else in here. It's the other necromancer, member of the Iron Triad. Perhaps if we take her down, we might be able to force her to give us some directions. <laughs> Do a boss fight and then ask for directions. Great, okay. Defeat Malkendria, and that is the objective. For now. Could go and try and kill this guy. Well, let's move a bit first and see what we reveal. Doesn't look like we reveal anything much. Okay, poison for no gain.
Oh, look at that janky graphics there. Janky as fuck. Well, you guys are all through, so you can keep going. And in come the suspicious looking yellow units. What have we got here? We've got a Ghast, we've got two Soulless, and we've got Malkendria the Necromancer, who's just a normal Necromancer, but uh, she doesn't look too great. She's looking a bit peaky, one might say. A little bit of fire damage. Time for the flames. Good kill. Now let's get this leech. No, no, no kill just yet. Good. Um, Shall I lure you forward? Yeah, why not? Actually, if you want, you could come and attack the troll. That's a just as good a bet. you don't want to attack the troll, that would be too easy. Okay, proceeding carefully here. They're all in range, so... Probably I do want to just kill stuff. You can go forward and kill the tree. Someone can go forward and kill the tree. You're so tough that it's usually smart to have you on the front line. But in this case, I think demons will be better. Uh, they do re retaliation damage at range. So then, you... Whop! Alinea, you sit in the middle. Turn four. And by turn four, I mean... Oh no, you've got resistance to cold damage. That's frustrating. Someone's gonna get poisoned. Probably Alinea. If you go forward, you'll get owned. Um, Elinia might get owned. I think she can take it though. I hope. Some interesting, not very strategic AI moves there. Well, Kendry is well defended on that stack. And she does have a good ranged attack. Let's use Zephyrs, because they're skirmishers. They can do this. And then I now should be able to get enough units in on Malkendria to deal damage. Uh, what am I going to do with you? Put you in the light? Can you get round? Yeah, you can. Good, alright. You 
the other necromancer from the Iron Triad, aren't you? Where is your master hiding? Where is the Ruby of Fire? Silence. Are you going to answer? There is something wrong about her eyes. I don't have time for this. <sighs> Devoid of her own will, and turns into a living puppet. Suddenly, defeating her does not seem to be much of an achievement. I don't think I saw anything like this the last time I was here. Why would they do this to her, though? My lady, we should proceed onwards quickly. We don't have much more time, and the fire of your eye will not take kindly to all these casualties. Indeed, let us continue down this passage. If Ogea's instructions are correct, there is a large stone chamber ahead. Alright. Want to kill the gas first? And then you can get the experience. Good stuff. Alright, can you kill a tree in one? Yeah, you can. You're the slow poke, so you just move. I was going to say these guys are free experience, but again, they're only free experience if you can actually flip and hit them. Okay, we got zombies. Fight, why not? All right, we're gonna have bats. Bats are not skirmishes, though. great on this terrain, are you? Demons. Funnily enough, demons don't like caves very much. Demons are quite like elves, really. Was I supposed to realise that ages ago? Is that an important plot point? I don't know. Ok, 
Okay, one more zombie, a couple more weak bats, a zombie bat. You can't hit anything. Well, that was good at least. There we go. There is a chasm area back there. Okay, you just try and take out this guy. One good plonk. There we go. We got the village. You come through again quite slowly, surprisingly slowly. Someone who can fly. You see it? No, okay, nothing interesting over there. Just a rat back here. abandoned council chamber. This doesn't look ominous at all. But let's, let's move every single person we can up in support here. Oh, the demons are so slow at this point. Okay, we got onto terrain that the demons aren't quite so slow across. Still. Okay, Kroll can have a look around. Alright, we've got tentacles up there. Wait, did one of my demons just get killed by a door? We are trapped in this chamber. And more importantly, my demon who is carrying the magic items just got killed by a door. That's where you want us to go. Isn't that correct, Elissa? Silence. You could have opened the gate for me at the very least. Huh, well, I've lost a demon. Does that count as a death? No, apparently not. He's just gone. Okay. Well, if I'd known that was going to happen, I would have moved everyone up before. Oh, uh, well. Mm, that's my problem with a powerful spare unit. Oh well. well. Go where the tentacles are, I guess. Is this impassable? Yeah, this is impassable. If 
Fun time with tentacles then. Tentacles and rats. Weird creepy music. At least if I find a way out, these stupid demons will be able to get to the door pretty quickly this time. Ah, there we go. Door opening glyph. Multiple door opening glyphs. Wonder how many of them I need to hit. There are rats around, so I don't want to get ahead of myself with weak units. You put 20% defense there, but kill the tentacle anyway. Send you up here. Rip Nymeren. We shall miss you and all of the items that I gave you. I mean, admittedly, it was a hand axe that I used once because there was an enemy that was resistant to cold. But still. Ovatha. Originally a peaceful world not predestined to harbour civilization, Ovatha was chosen by Illuvia as one of the destinations for the survivors of the first cycle. Over time, the lack of a guardian who could guide them resulted in devastating and long-term wars over increasingly scarce resources, thus earning it a new name for outsiders and natives alike, Inferno. While Ovatha continues to be largely heterogeneous, its most inhospitable regions are much better known in Erdian lore than the rest. Despite originally lacking a guardian and a seed, Avatha has become the domain of the new guardian of life. Uriah, in other words. Okay, you've got more plot glyphs. Um, can't actually go very far around here. My zephyrs are going to be handy. You go up there. Sure, the rats will attack you, but what's a rat between friends? Multiple glyphs, and one of them's blue. That's going to be the one that we need. So, are you guys just going to wait here? Or maybe wait at this side of the room just in case something crazy happens. Silida, originally a barren world not predestined to harbour civilization, Silida was chosen by Eluvia as one of the destinations for the survivors of the first cycle. It is said that before being erased from existence, the guardians of life and existence adapted this lifeless world as a new home for their peoples. However, their task was left unfinished, and the new inhabitants of the world died out after a few generations. Only many eons later would Silida be populated again by fairy creatures. Despite originally lacking a guardian and a seed, Selida has become the domain of the new guardian of Earth. Someone call for a rat exterminator? It would ensure that the souls of our ten demon gods would be connected directly to the tree through their very hearts, and then it would corrupt the tree and its protector. Hmm, that one's a bit cryptic. You guys maybe just head back now. I can say stand in the entrance.
The first god created us and the reality we live in with the intent that our own original ten would protect and rule over their creation and eventually replace their forefathers entirely. Little did they know of the many trials they would face during the first cycle and the betrayal that would result in the abrupt end of their own existence. Little did they know that the same corruptive force that ravaged their universe would manipulate the order of events to ensure an entryway through the Tree of Life itself. Yelinia should be the one to investigate this glyph. Can I undo that? Yeah. Barrier spell! Okay, I can open barriers that were sealed with the same spell. Nice. And at this point, there isn't a turn limit anymore, interestingly. So with my units just kind of farting around the map. gutted that I lost that dude. Or that dudette. Or that person. Ish. Which is the fastest way? In through the water or round? Round. <laughs> okay, form up everyone. We wouldn't want you to get uh, trapped and killed by a door or anything. Proceed alone. Very well. A subsequent awakening reminded me of it, my own, except that I did not have the power to tap into her mind and comfort her, unlike Uriah. I did not ask the girl what seemed to cause her more pain than before. Was it the many modifications we had to perform on her devastated body to enable her to live once again? or the separation of her body and her soul, or, perhaps, the presence of the source within her. Her name. Come on, you've got to have figured that out by this point. I will be truly disappointed if you aren't waiting behind that gate. Well, let's look at this glyph, anyway. Right, well I should have just, if it's the same kind of barrier, it would have just... Here we go. Hello. 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 Uh -oh. Hmm. I have been awaiting this moment for so long, Elisa. Or should I call you Yechnagoth? Yechnagoth is no more. I suppose I may as well call you an imposter then. I have read Argan's journal. You weren't destined to possess those powers. It was never my choice, dear. And even if it were the case, I have never actually claimed to be Merthyal. For those of you who know, at this point, Elissa is the um, 
who, who is the guardian of darkness, has the body, has the, the heart of Yechnagoth in her. That's what all of that plot was about. Um, is it good to be in the light? Maybe I'll be in the light. Hmm, seems like this fight is destined to be somewhat inconclusive. I have to admit that you are quite agile for a winged fairy. Alas, that will not be sufficient to defeat me. I had hoped you would have learned new tricks since we last met. As much as I would not mind to keep doing this forever, you purposefully misled us by removing any references to the final whereabouts of Yechnogoth's heart from Argan's journal, didn't you? I admit that I took some pages from Argan's journal some time before you acquired it from him, yes. I also changed a few other things for your convenience. You killed Galat before my very eyes. You are responsible for Malkeshar's destruction and for the deaths of millions. It was all part of the plan. All those deaths were necessary to appease Uriah and prepare our vast stage for this day. The vast stage we normally call Erdia. My business with that elf you secretly loved was not personal. How did you? Those who can harness the aspect of darkness can read into the minds of weaker creatures at will. Did you not know this? Another round? You game? Of course you didn't. You have wasted your entire life pursuing the most banal objectives. You never bothered to try to understand that power you had. Argon and you could have done great things if you had learned what the Union truly entails. You have lived awake for over 800 years, and yet you are still an incompetent little brat. Such as the curse of eternal youth, I guess. Huh. Are you not exhausted already? You sure are persistent. I could end you with a single strike if I wanted. Then why don't you do it? Is that what you truly want then? Do you seek the cold touch of death? And yet you fear it. You haven't been able to bring yourself to put an end to this. But why? I missed that one. Is it that you are unable to assume responsibility for your own decisions anymore? I just noticed Elinia's getting a ton of experience for doing this because every turn she's fighting a level 5 unit. <gasps> Do something you can actually kill. There we go. I see. Frankly, this is quite disappointing. I thought Argan and Gallas saw something in you beside your pretty face and hair. <gasps> oh, my bad. I forgot to mention that you really want to know, don't you? Yes, Gallas did want to reciprocate your feelings, but he never did so, because you were too busy grieving over Argan's death like a little girl. 
Ah. Perhaps, if you were not so stupid and ignorant of your own power, you would have been able to save Argan in the first place, don't you think? Shut. Up! What? <laughs> Good. But still not sufficient to defeat a guardian of darkness, my dear. Well, this isn't looking so great. Maybe I can level up before getting wasted, but uh, I guess we'll see. Do you truly believe that such cheap tricks can stop me? No, I don't. I had thought this would be a fair fight, but in the end it was merely a foolish hope. What do you think? On the other hand, you are still alive and able to stand, and I am impressed. What are you waiting for? Sweet dreams, my dear. Ouch. And there we are. That is the end of episode 3, scenario 7a. With a flash of light and Elinia knew no more. The next scenario will be in, in, in the episode 3 scenario 7b dark sea but uh, since i've already been at this for two and a half hours this is where we're going to take our break thank you very much for watching please leave a comment if you appreciate what i'm doing here and a like maybe even subscribe that would be cool otherwise yeah see you next time